Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Starry Motor Bears and this is Modded Minecraft and as you can see guys, I'm trying to use different shaders because I think I'm not saying these shaders are better, but after some complaints, now I can see the numbers and the name on the barrels. So let's go outside and let's see how the shaders looks like. Like the, the water looks better. So I can even see uh, through the water a little bit more and we can some we have some reflections of the stars uh, on the water as well. So this is how it looks like under the water. So I'm not saying these are the best. I'm not saying I'm happy with those shaders, but hopefully oh shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Hopefully these shaders will work very well. Let's get some wool as always. I need to start the episode with shearing the sheep. Just like that. Because I will need a lot of wool again. Oh, there is a Baida. Yo, Mr. Baida, do you want to be uh, saved? <laughs> I think he does. So let's send him into the shredder. So the sp spider has been saved. And that's it. <laughs> now let's go downstairs and I will continue my work on ME system. It's like a never ending story. So maybe I need to move these reusable morphs. So everything is fine. So far I am making some extra lava from the nether, the nether rack. Like most of the time I am going to nether, just to mine nether rack for making the lava. So this is emmy system and I think it's time to make it, I am not saying better, so I think I need to craft, like automate the molecular assembler recipe. So let's do it. I, th I don't think that I do have that recipe automate it no i don't so let's do it it is very quick the recipe is easy so this is going to be our recipe so let's take it and maybe i can toss it somewhere into any molecular assembler or interface terminal so we, we have it and i would like to have probably eight so let's take eight right oh we don't have the crafting tables. Oh, really? Okay, so I think I need to automate a crafting table a recipe as well. So let's find some planks. Maybe, I don't know, these oak wood planks, just like that. But this time I will allow substitutions because I do have a few more types of uh, planks. So just like that. Let's insert this recipe into ME interface somewhere, maybe this one or it doesn't matter. So let's try to craft molecular assemblers now. And I would like to say, I would like to have, I said eight, right? So we can see we have everything in ME system. So let's do it. Now it is running. We can see crafting tables were crafting inside the molecular assembler and there will be much much more so what do we what, what we don't have those are logic circa uh, printed how is what's the name for it printing logic circuit no logic processors we can fix that a little bit later don't worry and we should have or we should keep some in our system all the time i will show you how it how it can be done it's easy but i will take some cobblestone just like a, a placeholder i'll be just like oh shoot i can send the wool inside the emmy system so let's take assemblers so eight pieces and i would like to have them Hmm, where do I want to have them? Probably here. So that's three. Where is that cobblestone? So four, five, six, 
seven, eight. And we have eight assemblers, right? So to make it a little bit better, oh shoot. I didn't want to connect it this way. Oh but I think it's it's alright. Like I will fix it later, but sure not today, because I would like to show you something. And I will need a lot of ME interfaces, so let's craft, I, I don't know, maybe 12? Can we craft 12? Yes, we can. So this will take a while, Crocodile, because we need these logic processors again, but... We do have some interfaces in ME system already. So let's do something with it. So I'm just like that. That's four, five. So I will need three more and then there is a the back side as well. So how does it look like? Oh so this is still crafting like this this is very very slow. Printed logic here cut. Hmm. I think I need to do I need to do some extra click printed logic steer gun. Let's graph, I don't know, 50, can we afford 50? Yes, we can. But if we can afford 50, let's make 100. Because we can, right? And we do have the gold. At least I think we do. 600, oh, 700 ingots and 537. Oh, that's not bad. So maybe I need to process this gold or so we are crafting that crap over there and any system will craft the rest so we will leave it running and I will take uh, so that interfaces so we have five six seven eight and I think this will be all right ish for a while so let's do some magic but i need some smart cables or should i have uh, the cups running that's not what i wanted so let's do it this way i will place one cable there so that will connect these two assemblers and th now i will need i don't need but i will use a, a different color so let's see what do we have we have red and we have flux so let's do let's find some dye so i think i can use this rose red as a dye so uh, the recipe is very easy just like that one in the middle so that's the recipe and i will craft how many four i think four is fine maybe maybe not let's try so i will use this tree here right and then i will use another on the other side so let's craft oh shoot i need to drop the recipe somewhere so where do we craft the cables the white cable oh we don't have the recipe for white cables okay that, that's that's all right so this will be the red so just like that so i don't know we want maybe 20 can we craft 20 we can't smart cable flux we don't have hmm interesting can we craft smart cable flux oh we can we don't have a recipe for it really oh shoot so let's do it So this is the smart cable plugs. So let's do the recipe just like that. I will toss it somewhere. Maybe here. So I will change this to be this one. So we will craft plugs, red, maybe then a white, yellow, blue, whatever. You name it, we will craft it there. So let's try again. We want 20. And now the ME system will craft even the flux cables for us. So we don't need to care about it anymore. So it is happening already. Somewhere here. Yep. There. And it is almost done. So now we do have the red cable. So let's take uh, 
24. Oh shoot, 25. That's not bad. And let's do it a little bit. I'm not saying better, but maybe in some kind of a funny way. So let's connect this tree. That's sick. Let's do one more white. So this will connect these four. And then we need to get in the back. And we need to find a way how we can connect these two pieces over here. So we will need a red dense cable that's easy to craft. So, oh, shoot. We have a white. So we need to craft maybe. Let's try 20 flux cables without any colors so they can connect to anything and everything what we want we have three i will wait for one more maybe just like that four and this should be all right and let's do some magic with it we know that red cable and white cable they won't connect together right so what we can do we can break this cable here i will place a flux cable over over there and then i need maybe a red and a red dense cable do we have the dense cables oh we don't so let's craft some red dense cables so we have 10 all right let's place it there with a basically die in the middle and let's do let's do the rest so i will place one red here it won't connect to the white but it will connect to the flux cable or flux cable and we can do it here so that's a red cable and we can connect it maybe with another red dense cable just like that I know it looks horrible, like a spaghetti, but if it works, nobody cares, right? So Y6, oh, I know Y6. So everything, is everything working? Yes, it is. And now what we can see, we are using already 24 channels on this dense cable. So we have just a little bit more left, but on this spine or the backbone cable we are using only one channel because we are using the tunnel here and of course like if we want to connect more um, me interfaces here and more assemblers then we need to probably change this connection just a little bit different i do have some idea already but we will get there we don't need to care about it now because we are still fine. Oh shoot. Still 18 to craft. Okay. So let's toss everything inside the ME system. And why I did this? Because I wanted to have like a plenty of space for recipes. So now we can take a look into interface ter terminal. And we can see we have crazy amount of ME interfaces with molecular assemblers. And ev every molecular, molecular assembler can take can take two four six eight nine recipes so i guess we have place or space maybe for 150 recipes maybe more maybe less but that's what i wanted to do because now i can just drop all the recipes which i want into that molecular assemblers and everything will be perfect so i think what we can do next like it's not very I will have to say it. It's not very clever, but that's how I do it. But maybe I will leave it for next episode, maybe, because I would like to start with some kind of a, a automation of processing the, the items and materials in my base. Because I don't want to do all the work on my own all the time. Just a very good example is this gold ore. If I want to process it, I need to take it with me, then I need to toss it into the sag mill or some other machine, maybe just like that. And then I need to wait 
heal the machines will process it then i will take the the, the materials or the output of it from it and then i will take the ingots and i will get the ingots into the emi system and this is the i'm not saying this is the some kind of a bad way how to do it like a i don't mind but when you will craft some kind of a very very complex recipes then you don't ho you don't need to run around your base all the time but before anything now i know exactly what i wanted to do i wanted to remove these stairs finally because i'm always running around it and these stairs basically go nowhere it's just a hole in the ground i don't use these stairs anymore so i think it's time to remove them just like this and maybe i should cover that hole up after oh, that stairs so i think that would be a good idea to do because i'm always scared oh shoot <laughs> i almost did fall so down like i'll I wouldn't die, I do have a jetpack, but when I do it, I have some kind of a small heart attack all the time, so now the, the stairs have been removed, I can see what is there, and I don't need to be afraid anymore, like, a, not now. And I think it's time to start some kind of a processing room from industrial craft tool and i think this is a very good room to start with because i don't want to have uh, industrial craft 2 processing very close to the emi system or emi system room which is this one because uh industrial craft 2 i do like the sound effects from industrial Cra craft 2 but if you play on a server for 50 hours 100 hours or a thousand hours that sounds make you crazy you don't want to hear it all the time so that's why i want to have that machines in completely different room so let's take a look around the base because i do have some very basic processing here but i do have the electric cables in this corner so let's take a look what we can do so maybe the first machine would be somewhere here because i would like to connect exactly same cable which should be in the in the chunk so i think i need to get some cables oh shoot i'm hungry in the game and low so let's eat something meat is stew or bacon and eggs maybe bacon and eggs oh shoot <laughs> This is, or this was very loud. So let's find some cables. And we do have insulated thin cable. We, I'm not going to use cover cables because they will burn the machine. So we have 32, that should be all right. And let's try to craft a macerator. macerator how can i do it oh shoot i have everything no way i can't believe that can i i'm sure i don't have everything for it i know i don't have the recipe for the circuit but let's try to craft one so this is the macerator missing basic machine casing all right we need to program that recipe iron place just like that let's find the macerator machine where do we craft it so i will move it just a little bit and we have basic me machine casing so let's try to craft one macerator oh shoot we don't have the iron plates oh my god so how can we do iron plate let's take a look do we have the hammer yes we do so let's craft as much plates as i can all right that wasn't much but at least something so let's craft 
the macerator. And this is like a try number, I don't know, 20. <laughs> Already it's a macerator. And then, what? I'm still missing. Oh my god, this is this is unbelievable. So I need to make a few more plates by hand. Oh shoot, I need I need the uh, the hammer. So this is the hammer. Let's remove these ingots and let's make I don't know a stack of plates just in case. So I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure that I do have all the re all the resources for creating or making the macerator. Let's do it. I think the macerator is done already. So let's take the macerator. But I think I'm going to make a few of them. So maybe two. Oh shoot, electronic circuit. Oh my god, no. So now I need to program the electronic circuit PCP. Can we do it? Maybe we can. So let's do it again. So let's find some space in a molecular assembler so let's do we have one macerator right so we want two more boom piece of cake and we have it so let's take those macerators with me we do have the cables and i'm going to place them somewhere because this is the beginning of uh, a little bit more automation in in the base because i don't as i said before i don't want to do everything by hand so just like that i know this is not efficient but i will do it this way so one two and three so we have three macerators and i think they are extremely loud can we try it Yep, they are. I think I need to lower the volume of IC2. Alright, yeah, I do did uh, lower the volume to 25%. Macerators are not very fast, which is fine, because we can still uh, use these upgrades. So I'm not going to cry about it yet. And we want to do something with them, right? So let's get some... Uh, what about... Maybe a gold or or yeah, I think gold or would be a really good example. So let's take the, the gold ore. Let's go downstairs, I think. Yeah, this looks like a pool for washing feet. <laughs> so gold ore. Alright. And we would like to do something with that gold. We know we are inputting gold ore into the macerator, and what do we get out of it? Let's take a look. We are getting crushed gold ore, right? So maybe I need to take a look on on the sag mill because I I still don't know which machines I will use for processing some ores like gold can be processed almost anywhere or in any machine so let's put one gold into the sag mill oh that wasn't bad what one gold and we get two and a little bit of copper and cobblestone all right so let's do it again Oh shoot, we are getting a lot of copper out of gold. So, the macerator is not very good machine for it, I think. I think I will process it in, in uh, the sag mill. So let's go back. And let's take a look what is happening in that macerator. Ta -da! So here we are. We are getting crushed gold ore. But what I would like to process or get... It's called stone dust. And I know I will need a crazy amount of it. So we can do it in a thermal centrifuge, which is fine. But I think I don't have enough power for it to run. So we can 
just toss the cobblestone into the th thermal centrifuge and we will get a lot of stone dust. Or we can process anything and everything else, like not everything else, but okay, crushed iron ore, and we will get some stone dust from ore washing plant as well. But it looks like the best uh, machine to get the stone dust would be the thermal centrifuge. So I will leave these machines to process everything or almost everything. And I think I'm going to do a recipe for one more machine because that is uh, needed all the time in uh, industrial craft and it's called washing plant, I think. So washing plant it is. Oh shoot, the recipe is a little bit complicated. So I think guys, I will do it in next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. This is the way.